Hey guys, today I'm gonna be trying to make carbon, the element. Um, it's pretty much also known as, which is one very easy way to make it, burning sugar. Pretty much, you get a little bit of sugar and you burn it. Now what happens is you have sugar, which um, is, you know, it really depends on the sugar, but it's mostly around, you know, 5, 6 C's, 11, 12 H hydrogen and then you got some oxygen which is also run to around the five six and it really depends on the sugar but well let's take C6 H12 and O6 which is um, glucose if I'm not mistaken the idea is um, you have you got the carbons with hydrogen and uh, oxygen to it and by heating it it will um, split into carbon which is left behind and hydrogen and oxygen gas which escapes because that is a gas just goes up and you know and now this is not really the best method <laughs> instead of doing that to make hydrogen gas because it takes a whole lot of sugar and you know you won't get a whole lot and you will need to be adding sugar and it takes a lot of heat which is not also what you want while doing that so yeah I'm pretty much just burning sugar so as you can see I'm pretty much melting it but I'm gonna go beyond making caramel and melting it I'm gonna burn it and that is the idea oh whew. you can hear the that's the metal that is uh, of course expanding because as it heats up the metal expands and I'm gonna I'm gonna have to stir this a little bit so, and you're just gonna have to make it completely black and then yeah then you know you're done go you can see there's also a little bit of water in there which you know it makes sense because um, the pack of sugar has been opened for a little while now so you know there's obviously water water isn't everything so it's getting black and that's what we want because we're not cooking we are just splitting things you know it's pretty much just pretty much just ruining sugar oh god don't breathe that in it's, it just, just smells terrible but yeah it's quite interesting and yes, you may think, hydrogen and oxygen gas, won't that burn quite nicely? Yes, it does. So we can light this. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna try it. So now, let me just get a little crambly burner. I'm just gonna light this on fire. Is that a good idea? It's not a good idea, is it? Yes, I got it burning. Let's see what happens. Yes, you see it? It burns quite nicely. Oh god! It dripped in. Uh, okay. Got it. No, I got it. You can see it. It's burning. No, don't burn. That will burn my carbon away. Oh, molten plastic smells so bad. But hey, it works. <laughs> you know, I'm just doing this myself, so everything is going wrong. Ooh, our terrible smelling reaction definitely works. Guys, I took it off here because. You really must hate me. Uh, there's a wasp in here. Huh? Let me just let me just capture him and let him outside. Uh, I will do that. Um, I will do that. I never kill wasps. They don't do anything to me. Uh, you know, they're, they're just, just they're just trying to get out. Oh well. I don't know. But this is carbon. Here we go. There's a little bit. You know, just a little bit of extra stuff through there. But you know, if this is carbon, this looks like good carbon to me. So this should light. Oh, let's light it then, huh? Oh, my dad is not gonna like this. <laughs> so carbon, as you know, is burnable, and if you burn it, well, you get CO2, carbon dioxide. Um, but it's just what they say, you know, ruins our atmosphere and, you know, ruins the earth uh, by heating it, you know, um, what's it called? Global warming. That's called global warming. So believe it or not, um, I will let it up to you, but, you know, that's what they say about, about that. But I'm not gonna say if, if it's real or not. Because a lot of people say no, a lot of people say a lot of people say yes, and as you can see, yeah, it burns, but there's still a little bit of extra stuff through there, so yeah. But you know, if I get a better trunk, you can uh, you can actually light it. I'm going to get a little bit of a tin can or something metal, you know, because that isn't gonna crack because my my ceramic thing there yeah, it cracked I'm just I just set it down there in like the stupidest place ever like with 220 volts right there it's not plugged in but <laughs> if it was it would be stupid uh, 
And I'm gonna let this wasp out now because he really wants to go outside. Now oh, that looks like carbon. I got a little bit of a bigger chunk. Yes, I let uh, I let the wasp out. He's uh, flying uh, free through the you know uh, through wilderness right now. But um, as you can see, I'll just get another angle. But it's not very dense, of course, because a lot of bubbling happens. So you can completely crush it. But yeah, I'm gonna make a little bit more. But uh, hey, that is uh, that's pretty good it's really simple and uh, I will write the equation down uh, a little bit later in the video I'm just gonna make it now and then I will tell you what exactly uh, happens I would say that's a successful batch of um, carbon that looks quite like carbon so let's take it out of there so that looks like uh, quite a good batch of um, carbon yeah that looks really nice so um, it does burn, but yeah, it does burn. It does burn quite good. Um, the only thing is, it doesn't burn like my magnesium feel, that it will just keep on burning until it's just completely burnt. But um, yeah, it's, uh, this is a very simple way to make quite pure carbon, which is, well, you can do quite a lot with it if you need carbon. One more thing I can uh, I wanted to tell you, I just used uh, one of these tin cans, just really easy. Um, if you just add a little bit of water to uh, your mixture, you break it loose, put on something uh, like this, or just break it loose and keep it in there, and just put it in there. Put a little bit of water in there, as you can see, that's water. Uh, you can dissolve the sugar that's still left on it. So yeah, that will result in purer carbon as we were aiming for, so that's good. Now, let's burn something, right? I wanna burn some carbon. It's not really spectacular, but you know, this is my video, so we're gonna burn, we're gonna burn stuff. There we go. Get a little bit of carbon. Let's see, it burns. And this, of course, releases CO2. Oh, you can see it just keeps burning. Oh well, let's go to the equation. Here is the equation. So now, as you can see, normal kitchen sugar and the sugar you put in your tea is sucrose. Well, why was I talking about glucose? Uh, sorry, glucose. I was looking through my camera, don't do that while you're writing. Which is C6H12O6. Um, well, that, that's just lower numbers, it was a bit easier to remember. But sucrose is 12 Cs, uh, 22 times hydrogen, and 11 oxygen. Now, we're not using glucose here, that's, that's mm, something else, we're not talking about that, we're talking about sucrose. Let's get to the equation. Now we have C12. H22 and O11. We are not adding oxygen to it because we're not burning it. We are splitting it. So let's say we're adding a little bit of heat, you know, just heat. And you know, my writing is bad, but who cares? You're gonna judge me. Well, I don't care. Do it. Judge me. Now, um, what we get is C. I'm just gonna leave that for now. And we get H2 and O2. We got carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. You might be like, oh, this doesn't add up at all. And there you're right. You can see you have here 11. And here you have, you know, it's not really working. So we put a big two over here. Got uh, everything times two. Now we got 22. That's good. Now, all we have to do is, it's pretty much, you got 11 here, and a 2 there. Now, there you got a 2 here, you put an 11 there. That's simple as that. Uh, it's just as simple as that. You don't even have to calculate. You can just pretty much reserve some numbers here and there, you know, just switch them around. You don't even really have to calculate, because, well, we in chemistry are generally a little bit lazy and we don't all want to calculate we want to just write it down 44 you know just 22 <laughs> it's really as easy as that but you might be like well why don't you leave that out because well you can't do that you, you can't you can't divide 11 by a good number and 
by you know full numbers without you don't want decimals of course because if you have decimals uh, what where is that half atom coming from you don't have half an atom or half a molecule that that, that doesn't work so that's obvious why we do this obviously why we do this and you got um 24 carbon over there and that's pretty much it so we got sucrose coming here uh here two sucrose molecules and we have 24 carbon 22 hydrogen and 11 oxygen so yeah this escapes and it will burn quite nicely and this leaves behind um, the carbon and that's what we were after can you extract hydrogen yes but it's not the most efficient way but hey if you want to try it go for it that's not a bad idea it's just not the most efficient idea but if you don't care about efficiency go for it um now um obviously i want to add if you have hydrogen here uh if you burn it a that's a burning reaction so we need oxygen here i know this one <laughs> yeah okay so that's that as you can see this is of course burning hydrogen forming water and well yeah if you uh, of course if you burn carbon you obviously get um but you know there is a chance you get carbon monoxide but yeah, that is generally not a good burning reaction. This is really what generally produces, which is CO2, which they say is bad for our atmosphere. But as I said, I'm not going to say that's true. I'm not going to say that's false because I want you to have your own opinion on that. Pretty much these are the two burning reactions. This is the reaction we use to split the sucrose up into carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And yeah, this is what um, happens when you burn sugar. A lot more going on than you might think but actually quite simple to do.